coffee fuel of your work. Welcome back to Freedom Diggers Metal Detecting. If you haven't already, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell. Some guy in Blue Oyster Cult gave me this. We're going to talk about metal detector test gardens. A lot of people like to create one of these so that they can check out the performance of their new machine. There's also a lot of YouTubers that make videos involving test gardens. I'm going to show you a little something about them that a lot of people might not know. So I'm going to dig a hole here. My trusty raven. Man. Look how sandy the soil is. I'm going to drop plaid quarter in this hole. And we're looking at probably, oh, probably about five inches depth. Typical depth that you're going to find stuff at, like in a modern park or just about anywhere else. And we're going to fill it back in. Nice. Like that. All right. So let's consider this a test garden, okay? We got the trusty MX7 out. And we're going to turn her on. All right. We're good. Make sure it actually is working. Yep, that's another flag quarter. I'm not going to try to ground balance because this yard's pretty heavily iron infested. It's not going to be a very good balance, but see how it's barely hitting it? I mean, a little bit of a hit, but not real hard. I'll slow down. It's kind of there-ish. I tried this out. I tried to make this video about a week or two ago, and it was a technical problem. But the soil was a lot drier at that time because we hadn't had much rain. We've been getting some rain. And it wouldn't hit it at all. Not one bit. It was like the quarter wasn't even there. And I'm going to explain why and why it's not really hitting that hard. This machine, I have no problem hitting deep quarters. I hit them at, you know, 9, 10 inches easily, even with a small coil. When you freshly bury a coin, it's not giving off what they call a halo. A halo is where the metal kind of starts to leach into the soil a little bit. And it gives a bit of a, a signature of the coin being there that the detector can hit on. So if you see somebody with a test garden and they're trying to tell you that this latest detector by whatever brand is making it isn't a good one because it's not hitting the coins, be skeptical of that. I always am. A lot of people, they're, they're kind of geared towards promoting a certain manufacturer over another and they're going to have a test garden and you're going to see it you know and you're going to go wow that machine isn't hitting that it's because the test garden is not that old test gardens have to age a little bit in the ground before they're useful i'd say a year's the minimum before the coins start to kind of you know corrode a little bit for lack of a better word and give off that halo around them so if you have a brand new machine and you run out in your yard to test it and you get the same results where it's barely hitting or not hitting at all, don't freak out and think your machine's no good. Real world tests are the way to go. Everybody's yard has some stuff in it. Just get out in your yard and see how the machine reacts. Dig up some stuff. It'll get you used to how the machine works, how it responds stuff like that so generally my opinion on test gardens is that they're kind of crap in a lot of cases but i'll tell you what's not crap is the kind of day we're having right now nice out so 
Nicole and I are going to get out and we're going to do a little bit of the taxi here shortly. In the meantime, folks out there, make sure you keep it dig free or die. We'll see you next time.